Right, people, let's think of it. So, if it was ever a fight between a, well, our lovely character Steve from our lovely game Minecraft, and what happens if you went in the world of Terraria? Well, he would have to interact with a guy called Terrarian, which is basically, well, your player from Terraria. So, let's think of it. Who would win in a fight between Steve or a Terrarian? We have to think of the major aspects, you know. But first, let's just get it all out of the way of with, um, well, what can I really say? Minecraft is just a 3D Terraria, but Terraria is just 2D Minecraft. Yes, yes, I know I've angered the entire community there, but it's for a good reason. We have to think, how are they good against each other? Well, we have to think of the major aspects. So, Minecraft and Terraria both have a progression system, but e each of them start differently. So, let's start with Steve, eh? Our good old boy Steve. All he starts with is his fists and a chest if you put the starter chest on, but let's just go basics. So all he does is start with his fists, and so what does he do? He punches trees. Punches them like a madman. Well, anyone would do that in their free time. So he would always punch and punch, punch, collect wood, build a weapon, build sticks, build blocks, make weapons, build house, raid a village, and well, go mining for more items to get stone tools, to make more torches, and well, and so on. But, but, if we think about a Terrarian, in Terraria they start with actual weapons and tools, such as a copper short sword, a copper pickaxe, and a copper axe. And, well, a finch staff if they put on easy mode. So, as always, as I said, we're doing normal, so there's no finch staff. So, what do we do then? Simple. They get wood, they chop down about 1,000 trees until they get to 999 wood, and so what do we do with that? Simple. They build a house. And what do we do then? Simple. Build a workbench, build a chair, make lights by killing slimes, and imprison their guide in either a jail cell or an actual house, because it's the old-fashioned way of, of helping your people in a way, as you can think. But what else is there? Simple. Terrarian goes into the mines, kills things, mines, well, different types of ores, as there's many, many types of ores. So, therefore, there is a big difference between Steve and a Terrarian. So, let's start with Minecraft, as always. So, how does their progression work? Simple. Spawn in, break trees, create tools, go in the mines, mine stone, get stone tools, make a furnace, get coal, get iron, keep getting iron until you get everything sorted, maybe craft some flint and steel to build a nether portal, but to build a nether portal you need obsidian, so to get obsidian, blah blah blah, Minecraft does that, Minecraft does this, kill that guy, kill him, kill him, boss, done, get the ending, there you go. Hello Terraria, it'll be the same thing really. Terraria would be, kill this guy, get that guy, get more resources, and boom, boom, boom. There's the ending. Game completed. Great job. So, let's skip all that and get to the end. What's the ending? Simple. It's the actual fight. And so you'll do it in three segments. Which would be... First time I spawn in. Mid-game. And end-game. But those would be somewhat difficult when you're trying to figure out at what part would each of the characters be. So, we would have to start at when they, when they spawn in, really. Since, well, it'd be kind of obvious that the Terrarian would win in the, well, start of the game. Since he would have all the items, which would be the starter ones, which is all the copper tools and wood armour. For Steve, however, he would have his fists and wood weapons. He has more of an assortment of wood weapons than the Terrarian, but no armor. So the chances are it's a big loss for Steve when it comes to a fight, but it could change depending on what the skill is. Mid game would be a bit tough though if you think of it. Well, 
Well, you have different factors. Terraria would have more weapons and gear, but Steve would have, well, roughly iron, maybe diamond armor. But it depends on, like, where it would settle, where mid-game would be. But, if you think about it, both of them have equal weapons, but just different things. As I just did see that um, the Terrarian has a different gear setup, depending on what they're doing. It could be melee, ranged, or magic. Steve, however, he could only be, well, three things you could probably say. Which would be melee, ranged, or redstone. And you'd be thinking, that's quite powerful. And it quite is, so... You would have to think that Steve could probably win. Because, well, we all know as a Terrarian, as a Terraria player, traps are the end of everyone. That boulder upstairs, well, it's going to kill you next time you press it. And, boom, Ter Terrarian's dead. So, in a quick ending, we can say, we would have to say that Steve would win, but it'd also be a tie, depending on who gets the first hit, if that is understandable. So, in short, we do say it would be a, well, a draw. On to our final section, which would be end game. So, this is where it really comes down to, by the looks of it, we would have to say they are roughly tied with each other. Terrain has two points, Steve has one, and that's mainly due to the tie, since one could win, one cannot, it depends. So, what else? Well, for end game, Steve would have full Neverite and possibly fully enchanted. For the Terrarian, however, he would have all the post Moon Lord items. And depending on what he would have, he'd probably have a lot of dangerous weapons. So, what can we really say? Well, in hindsight, we would have to think the Terrarian would win by. Well, definitely, due to how much power he would have gotten. So, this really makes it think. What else could it be? What else could happen? If I can get my words right. But what else can really happen? That is the real question. So, to mainly end it off, um, subscribe, like the video, and share it with your friends. And enjoy. Anyway, yeah, put a li little bit of subscription there. Anyway. So, to basically end it all off, we would have to say the Terrarian wins in the end, really. Just think of it. You could possibly make your own theories for it, same in the comments, and I'll have a look at them. And I might make a possible part two, but who knows. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, and goodbye.